Hey y'all, it's Liz. Hey, today I did this look, um, and it's again a recreated look. Um, not using the same products because I didn't have exactly the same things that she had. Um, but I did this look, um, and it's a um, it's a smoky eye, and to me it's played down some where it's not so. You know, some of my smoky eyes I do. Um, like when I do a sexy smoky eye, it's like really, really black and and browns and but this is um like um a beige color with chocolate browns and a hint of black and um I just smoked it out just a little bit. Um and on the inner tear deck I used uh vellum by Mac. You guys know I normally don't do anything right here in the center in the center, in the inner part because my eyes just water so doggone bad. And, um, but I did use vellum. So that's, this is the look for today. Um, I don't match cause I have nothing on that's brown. <laughs> I just have on a white t-shirt. Okay. Well, um, I hope you guys, um, enjoy this look. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and try this. Um, it's just a really nice smoky eye, and I'm going to link um, the video that I saw um, right down here somewhere, or in the bottom box. Okay, well, you guys have a great day. I am off. i got to go to Target and take that kinky curly custard back. I haven't done that yet, and then i got to stop over at Sally's. Um, other than that, um, you guys have a great day, and enjoy the tutorial. Deuces, y'all. Bye. Okay, y'all, if you're ready to get started with this look, the uh, primer that I used was uh, L'Oreal Decrease. And then as a base, I used NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on my lid. I also used this uh, light beige color here. You can also use um, something like Brulee or uh, Blanc Type or Vanilla um, if you don't have this particular color here. But I use that. Um, uh, from the BH Cosmetics, I also use this light brown, this dark brown. I use this black, Embark by MAC. And then um, as a highlighter, I use this light pink as a highlight color. For my inner tear duct, I use Vellum by MAC, which is this um, uh, really nice, um, it's got a little shimmer to it, but I use this as the, for my inner um, lid to kind of brighten it up. Okay, for my lower lash line, I used um, Remmel's uh, 610 Tiger's Eye, and then on top of that, I used um, a little bit of that beige Embark and then black again. For my lips, I lined my lips today with uh, Miss Fortune by MAC. It's an eyeliner, but I used it as a lip liner. And then I went in with uh, Revlon's um, Hazelnut on my lips. And then in the pout area, I used Wet n Wild's um, Pixie. For my liner, I used Wet n Wild's 886 Gel Liner in black. And then for my mascara, I used the e.l.f. Lengthening and Defining Mascara, but any mascara that you have, you can use. Okay, well, um, let's get started with this look. Okay, so if you're ready to get started, we're going to go in with this um, first color here, which is this one. And if you don't have this color, you can use any um, light beige color, vanilla from MAC. Um, any of those would work. And we're just going to apply this all over the lid and just above the crease. And we want to pack this color on. Same thing for the other eye. Just 
just like so. Now I had already primed my lid with, um, what's it called? Um, shit. Um, L'Oreal Decrease, and then I put the Jumbo Pencil on top. I had a little thing there. I think where I didn't blend it in very well. Sorry about that. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to go in with a... Um, out of my BH palette that I got last night, I'm going to go in with... Um, let me see. Hold on. I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's a really light brown. And I'm going to take that and apply that um, on my crease and just work it up. Just like so. And just work that up towards your brow a little bit. Because we're going to apply some other colors there. And then I'm going to go in with uh, this next darker brown. It's not the darkest brown that I'm using, but it is a dark brown. And I'm just going to apply that just like so. And take that a little bit further up towards my brow. Just like that. And don't worry if you lose some of that light beige color, we can always go back in. And now I'm going to take. Um, I'm going to take this pink color here and I'm going to use that as a highlight color and I'm just going to give it a light sweep right up there. A real light, just a sweep of color and if that, that might be a little too dark so I'm going to go in with a lighter color pink. So I went in with this lighter color pink here because that other one wasn't um, really doing anything. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with um, on my V and in my crease. I'm going in with um, the color Embark. Just to set the tone for the for the black that I'm fixing to put on. You could go right in with the black, but um, I'm not going to today. And I'm just going to work this up a little bit to darken, darken that.
just like so. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush like this, and I'm going to take from my BH Cosmetics, I'm taking this black color, and um, I'm going to work that in right here. This is a really black, black. I didn't know it was going to be that intense. And then just kind of use one chill wipe promotions. Don't pick up any more product. And just like so. All right, now I'm going to have to go back in with that beige color because I lost a lot of it. I lost a lot of it. So I'm going to go back in with it. Kind of overlapping it with the black a little bit at the top. Just like that. Then I'm going to take a clean, um, <clears throat> a clean fluffy brush. I don't know if this will work. We're going to try this one. This is the um, rounded fluff brush from the one I got from Costco. So let's try this one and see. I see, got little hairs coming out. I ain't too crazy about that now. Come on, there we go. And I'm just going to blend this. Kind of try to tone it down some. It's a nice fluffy brush though. So. Brush is as big as my eye. Okay. Just like that. Now. I think I'm gonna, hey, got some loose hairs. I think I'm gonna go in with um, some more of that um, Embark. And kinda work that up there like this. Not, not too much now, just a little bit. Man, I see hairs all over. Okay, so that's it. Alright, now I'm going to uh, line it all up and get some of this hair off, and I'll be right back so don't go anywhere. Okay, y'all, I'm back with the final look, um, and this is what it is. It's a, um, I'm going to call it um, my sexy smoky eyes I know there's a lot of titles like that but um, this is a recreated look um, and I will link her um, YouTube channel and her name down here somewhere so you guys can see it um, she didn't I mean hers is just really smoked out and it's gorgeous it's really sexy but um, I'm too sexy for my eyes. Too sexy. No. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyways, so I did this look. Um, hers is really, like I said, it's smoked out with hers is a deep, smoky black color where mine's not. It's kind of, um, I think it's kind of a neutral color. You could probably get away with this on a daily basis. You know, it's not too dramatic, but um, to me, it's pretty sexy. 
Okay, so let me just give you a close-up of this look. If you can see it. Yeah. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And um, try this look out. All right, deuces, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.